video is going to go over how to access ArtStore, which is a database that as a student at Northwestern State University you have access to. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to uh, Northwestern's homepage at www.nsula.edu and here it is. And at the bottom here, in the bottom right hand corner, you will see university libraries. Those are the people that are in charge of databases on campus. So you click university libraries and you will be brought to the, the library page, okay, Northwestern Libraries. There is a menu here on your left that says database directory. You can also click here to view database, the database directory. So I'm going to double click on that and it will take us to database directories. Now we are looking for art store so it'll be in the database under art, music, and humanities. You click on that and the menu will drop down. You will click on art store. Right now I am logged in because I already have an account. Okay, uh, I'm going to log out to show you what, what to do if you do not have an account as yet. Um, you will register here for an art store account if you do not have an account as yet. Again, as a student here at Northwestern, you, are, um, you, you have access to this database, which costs a lot of money every year, so we really want to use it. Remember, you can also use this database for any of your classes, social studies, psychology, history, English, if you need to uh, have pictures for particular um, presentations you want to make and projects. But to register, you have to use your email address. Uh, you confirm your email address. It is better if you use your NSU EDU address. Uh, your password, you create a password you confirm the password. Uh, your role at the institution will probably be undergraduate student right here. You may be a graduate student, whichever one works for you. Okay, and then um, you can, can, your academic department would be fine art studio. Some of you may be in dance, some of you may be in psychology. Find the one that best suits you, social sciences, whichever. Uh, and then Confirm that you are at least 13 years of old, years old. You do not have to click these. If you don't want to get information or surveys, you don't have to click these. But definitely click I agree and then register. Okay. Again, I'm not going to register because I already am. But this is how you do register a new account. Going back, let me log in. So when you log in, it's going to ask you for your username. It already has mine. It remembers mine. So I'm going to click it. It has my password in it, and I'm going to log in. Okay, here's what the page looks like when you finally get to it. And it will, uh, there's a slide presentation here featuring certain collections. Okay, uh, you can browse, you can organize, you can share. Okay, what I want you to do though, the feature that you're going to use the most is the search feature. So let's search for a work of art. I'm going to search for the uh, M-E-R-O-D-E -E altarpiece. You can put in an artist's name here if you would like to, or the title of the work. You can even look for like oil paintings. You can look for it's glass, whichever ones, whatever you would like to do. And then you click the search button. It will bring you to um, all of the works that have the Marode altarpiece in the title. Um, if you have too many things, like you have 3,000, okay, you may want to go and add and do an advanced search, okay, and say, look, I just want to look at just photographs that have Marode in it or something like that, okay. So you can specify your search, but I didn't get that many um, in mine. I only have two pages. Page. This is page one of two. 
It tells you there are 46 results for the Marode Altarpiece from all of their collection. Okay, and then if you want, you can go to the second page. They will have details of the, the image and all of that. It's really great. Let's click on one. I'm going to click on this one. It's for public use, okay? Uh, and then here, we will, you will have all of this information about the Marode altarpiece, who has the rights to it. So if, let's say I wanted to use this in a book, I would have to contact these people in order to get permission and pay for permission to use it in a book. But we're not using it in a book. We're using it for education purposes only. We're not going to make any money off of this. We're just going to learn some great art history. So uh, we don't have to worry about that. What you want to do is download the image and have it so you can put it wherever you want. So you just download the file. You say, I accept, which means that you're not going to use this for money purposes, making money. Okay, And it, it put it on my desktop right here. So you can see if I double click on this image, it's right here. Okay, Well, part of it is missing, but there it is. Okay. Let me try that again to show you and put it in, my, in the view part for this video. Here it is. Okay. So here's the Marod altarpiece that I have, and I can use it however I want. I can insert it into a Word document. You definitely need it to download it for your assignment if you're using one of these to complete an assignment. Okay, especially your um, semester project. Also, you're going to want to cite this information in your annotated bibliography. So here it is, cite this item. All you do is click on that double click you are going to use the Chicago style because this is art history okay and you are going to I'm gonna let me open it and make sure I get all of it you're gonna copy all of it you're gonna copy it to your clipboard so and it tells you this has been copied to your clipboard you close it and what you can do then is open up a word document and paste it on there. So I'm going to say paste. And there it is. There is your, now of course you will have to re-format um, it, but there's the information you need in the right order for your annotated bibliography. Okay. And that's it. That is how you use ArtStore.